You're an asshole. You're an asshole. That's what you sound like. Uh, shut up. Just shut your whore mouth, right? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Randy's Rants. Hope you guys been doing all right, being safe. Here with my, um, you know, y'all already know Tits McGee over here. Oh, jeez. Again? Again, Randy? Yeah, again. Again. I'm doing it again. Uh, but fuck I don't know about you. you guys. I hope, did you guys see the, the, the lights in the in the sky? I did. I think I thought that shit was some kind of fucking X Files UFO shit right there. I man. thought it was either the Covenant or when Mars attacks. It looked fucking weird, man. It looked like some shit was gonna yeah. about to go down. Because it was first like the one the first group I saw was twenty. Mm-hmm. It was twenty back to back, and there was nothing. And then a few minutes later, it was like sixty, seventy. Bro. Like I see honestly, my time living here in California, I've seen some shit. Like I've seen some weird shit. Like, the weirdest shit that I saw was, like, a fucking, like, a weird triangle flying around at night without making no noise, no nothing. That was weird. Yeah. And that shit looked like a fucking UFO. Yeah. And the other day with that Starlink shit, I thought, that, I was like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. I really thought it was going to be, like, you know, like, end of days, you know, like, yeah. alien yeah. things, yeah. alien yeah. invasion. I was like, what the fuck are you doing that? Only until you told me that it's, like, a fucking Tesla project, to, like, it's, an internet it, provider it, It's shit. an internet provider. Well, Starlink is not Tesla. Starlink is his own company. Seriously? Starlink, yeah. I thought they are associated with Tesla. No, I don't... Well, are you it's, sure? all, it's all under Elon, but I won't say they're together. It's oh. a separate company. It's oh, kind of okay. like Hollister, Aeropostale, Abercrombie. Oh, okay. They're to, same sister c- uh, company, separate, but together. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah, makes sense. But yeah, it's okay. an internet provider where you can get internet all over the world. Yeah, all the all our neighbors here were spooked. I don't know if it's a beta or if it's actually already up and running, because on YouTube, you can see reviews of what people think about Starlink. So that's the crazy part. So is that basically like for people who live like in the mountains, like rural people to get fast internet or I like think everyone again? So. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. But hey man, if they make it a good product, man, shit, I'll switch to it. There's a there's a future that uh, Elon Musk was saying that at one point he's they're, they're going to have like maybe 3 400 satellites up there to provide internet all around the world. Wow. It's like crazy. Even I was like, li- in, like in top of a fucking mountain? Yeah, I was seeing wow. it on the uh, on uh, I think it was on YouTube they're talking about it. Because some people smart. are against it for having so many things in our orbit. There are some people that are actually, they are against it for some for you know for yeah for reasons, reason you know, very yeah. reasonable yeah, reasons. debris and shit yeah. like that going in space. But it is crazy. But going back onto Elon, especially you know spe- speaking of Doja, you know because he's he's a part of it, and it's crazy how when they started Doja, they didn't think it was going to be so. Oh, talk about Doge going? Doge yeah. Going, yeah, crypto. And I feel yeah, I bought should... a little bit of some of that, you know. I have a little Me bit too. going on that, you know. What'd you buy? Well, I got right now. I got basically Cardano mm-hmm. and a little bit of Doge, you know. Okay, yeah. Me too. I, I bought Doge a while, not too much of it, a little bit though. But it's you know, it's pretty it's cool going. though, you know. Yeah. That's all. I don't see that that whole crypto's uh, currency stuff is very interesting for me. It's super fucking confusing, but. I don't know. It's pretty interesting though, it man. If you really get a look look into it though. I'm I, I'm barely getting into it too. So yeah, like, I don't really know that much about it. The only ones I bought was Cardano, Stellar, and uh, Dogecoin, and that's because I did research on it. Like I was like looked up so many things. What did what what did the experts say? And the reason I bought Cardano and Stellar is for they're saying in the future it looks very promising. Especially Cardano, there they were saying that in in about eight years it's going to be worth a hundred dollars a coin. I so, think sooner than that. If you Way have if you that. have $100 a coin and you have like say 60 coins, right? You know, maybe in the future you you're yeah. strapped for cash, you're like, "Whoa, hold on. This is this. I have a little bit saved up. Mm-hmm. I have shit that I bought. It's a nice little $6,000 pay for something that you invested yeah. years That's, ago." Yeah, you got to be careful though, man, cuz it's an up. That thing is Oh yeah, you got to keep big. an eye on the market. You, you don't want to keep wanna, an eye on that shit. You don't want to buy high, you don't buy low. I yeah. bought the first time I bought something, it was it was kind of high. Then I got used to it that when I saw it drop low, I instantly jumped on it. I mm-hmm. wish I would have put more money on Doge when it went down. Yeah, because I would have tripled my money. Yeah, I tripled believe my that, money man. in that little short. In, yeah, in that little short distance. Honestly, I I can see I can see Doge being in honestly hitting a dollar, but I can see Doge eventually hitting three four dollars. I really do. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, maybe do your homework. Maybe invest a little bit. You know, there's still a shitload of crypto, all the currencies though. But there's some I don't even know what the fuck they're called. I would called, say but don't invest, or don't put all your eggs in one basket. No, just a little bit. Yeah, to you spread know. it out. But also do your research and that yeah, stuff definitely. though, because that shit is a uh, and be cautious. And th- yeah, be, but one of my yeah, favorite one of my be, favorite um quotes that Elon said, he's like, don't. It's not bad to put all your eggs in the basket. Only if you control the basket. 
Yeah, that makes sense. That was like, I saw that. I was like, it's so true. And basically says like, you know, when it comes to crypto and all that, don't put everything you have in there. Put yeah. A, put what you feel you can risk and not really exactly. hurt you. That you're not going to get burnt. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, man. That's true. Because again, it's also a gamble. Yeah. Some of that shit's a gamble. It's like stocks. It's a gamble. Yeah. Roger that. Educated gamble, but gamble. I wonder, I, you know what, back to that Starling thing. How the fuck? Do they have so many of those things following it? Because it looked like it was like one yeah, thing after like another. Is it yeah. like a line? Are they connected? I think they're connected. I don't know exactly how. If you research it on YouTube, you get you'll find way way more information on it to the point where yeah, like, the whole neighborhood here, a lot of people around here, like a lot of Mexicans here were scared. Man, they're like they thought it was like La Migra. No, they thought it was like aliens, like UFO. <laughs> I still haven't told them the truth though, but I'm gonna let them marinate it for at least a couple of days, you know. Okay, Eventually they'll find out, you know. I'll probably be on Primer Impacto or something, you know. And they'll be like, bad. "What the fuck? That guy lied to us." <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh but shit, yeah, that's dude, funny that, though. That, that whole crypto man, that shit's uh, that shit's pretty dope. Yeah, it is pretty dope. You want to yeah. hear a crazy story that I heard from a good friend of ours that lives in uh, Medford, Oregon? Oh, this is gonna be juicy. Is it juicy? Yeah, it's. Oh, got, it's he told me good. recently. I, yeah, he told me recently. I haven't talked to him in a while, but I talked to him recently. You know. And he was based on what happened to his cousin like four or five years ago, man. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty rough, man. Oh. Yeah, it's a, honestly, it's one of those. If you, All right, go ahead. Spill it's the beans. Like, Let's hear the story. So him and his girlfriend, right? They're like, uh, they're hanging out with each other. They're like doing a little, you know, they're smoking a little reefer, a little doing, smoking a little weed, smoke. doing a little bit of nose candy, a little, you know, yeah. a little blow. A little something. Hmm. Yeah, he had a little some with them. And he's, they're just hanging out, you know, chilling right there and like in some like down dirt road in some little wooded area in mm. north of medford that's hot yeah it's interesting and then uh freaking they're there and they notice a freaking car coming up and it's like ah oh, damn it's probably one of those like neighbors live around here nope turn the lights on it was a fucking cop oh the cop stays there and the cops and, and another cop comes behind this so two cops are behind him he's like oh shit he gets out and then the guy gets out he's like oh what are you guys doing here like hey, is this a private road like and then the guy's like, you guys smoking marijuana? And the guy's like, yeah, we're smoking a little bit. He says, oh, all you're doing is like, yeah. It's like, can I search you guys his car? Basically starts searching the car, finds the blow. Oh, fuck. The blow that they were doing. He also found that he also had like three more other eight balls of blow. So he had like three or four bags of eight ball. And like, and this guy's, whoa, what's this? And they're like, nah, man, this is not good. And then that guy's like, we have to do They take the girl out, take the guy out. They take the guy out of the car. And they fucking... And it's just a, is it one cop? Yeah, it's two cops now. Oh, shit, it's two. Yeah, yeah. One cop showed up and uh, this backup oh, and showed the, up. The backup showed up. Okay, yeah. okay, I see. As they took him to his car and they're like... And honestly, his, this, his, his girlfriend was... You know, she's pretty hot. And then like, they, they... How hot? They like, put, put like an actress kind of hot. Mm, actress. Uh, a younger version of Jessica Alba. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm talking yeah, about. And then, so they arrest him and put him in the back of the car. So I'm and they leave already... the girl outside in front of the front car, you know, the, for the truck. And oh, they have her talking. They, they talk to him back there. And they're like, hey, man, we're going to have to arrest you because you have possession of cocaine. It's illegal. You can't do that. We were, we were going to do nothing about the about the marijuana. That's fine. But you have the other stuff, and that's a lot of stuff. They're like, oh, fuck, man. It's like, he's like, I, he's like, I can just throw it away. He's like, and the cop's like, no, but I'm thinking we can make out a deal. It's like if you know if you, me, and my partner, if you let us borrow your girl for a little bit, I'm pretty sure we can make a deal with all this stuff goes away. And then the guys are like, no, like he's been out with this girl for like two years. He borderline, borderline wants to marry her. My curious sees a future. Yeah, he with sees her. a future. Like no way. He's like, uh, you know what? He's like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna put my girlfriend in a situation like that. And he's like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. It's like, no, just take me in. He's like, okay, hold up, I'm about to go arrest your girlfriend too for both of you for possession. So he's like, he's like sitting back there. He's like, fuck, man, me and my chick are going to get arrested. And then they see the two cops talking to the chick. Oh. And then they're talking to her. And then they, she starts playing with her hair. And she starts laughing and smiling and like touching one on their shoulders. And then suddenly he starts thinking like, oh, no. He's like, no. And then he's all like, and then the cops like look at him. And then like they take her to like inside, not inside. They open the, they, they take her to the front of the car. And, like, you see, like, shadows. You can see the lights are hitting that way. And that's when he sees that one guy <coughs> goes into the truck with her alone. And, and it starts going up and down. <laughs> so. Great sound effects. Yeah. 
I yeah. Can better. I just got a break. So yeah. Like and then he's like, he's like watching. They're like, no, <laughs> yelling like, no. <laughs> I'm and sorry. Then, this is not a funny story. I know but. it's fucked up. Poor guy. <laughs> and he's like, and then the other guy gets out, and it's like, and then the other cop goes in there. He's like, no. And the other guy goes in there for like 20 minutes, and then they like, and then they they get the girl out again, and then they take her in front of the thing, yeah, in front of the vehicle, and they're there for another 30, 40 minutes, oh, all God. three of them. And he's just back in the car going, no. <laughs> all, you hear, and, all, all what's going down is yeah and everything it's yeah there's a lot there's a lot of stuff going on he's just in the back of the police cruiser just oh man that's tied horrible up. and then after 90 minutes to two hours why are you laughing bro it's it's a funny story <laughs> but after that know. happens they uh take the guy out they take him out unhook him and they're like yeah you're free to go <laughs> oh and they get in this car and take off what happened to him and the girl they went back to like he dropped her off at her spot and then the next day they broke up. Oh, that's horrible, man. Damn, dude. And I heard that story. Damn. I'm not surprised. Dude, rural, Southern Oregon. Yeah. It, it, like it's the, very the rural. Areas, a lot of times some people don't know they don't have a lot of uh government uh, sp- uh government uh budget. Yeah. So they can't get the body. So cams. the you know, they they run their own stuff there. It's too rural, you know, oh, and then you know, man. but he, the point is he never got the charges. Did he, he break lost. up with the girl? The girl didn't lose, didn't get charges either. But but did it, did are they still together then? No, they broke, they broke off the next day. Oh man, yeah, crazy stories that happen in Southern Oregon sometimes. Yeah, that that sucks though. Poor so guy, sad. and he really wanted to marry the chick, man. No, but you know what? Now that you mentioned the wooded area, man, it reminded me of uh, this. The did you see the new uh, the new special on Bigfoot? Oh yeah, on Hulu, Dude, Sasquatch. So, yeah, great. Documentary. I, I, it does I a total. It. it does a it, total 360. Of what it you does. think it's, you, what it's about? It's very. You want oh, You want to tell the people what what's it about? I was well, on Instagram. That's why. Oh, well, okay. Well, it's basically about like a story about like Sasquatch. It's a story about these two guys encountering uh, a bunch of dead body parts at a marijuana plantation. You oh, know how Northern yeah. California has a a long history of people growing marijuana up there in like Trinity, Humboldt County, Mendocino County, and it's a story about how these guys encountered uh, these. Bodies are ripped to shreds, and they blamed it on. They said, "Hey, Bigfoot did it." But as the story goes on, you and fear- especially there up there, it's a, yeah. uh, from a lot of people who don't know, it's Bigfoot country because there's a lot of stories like there's some stories like Bigfoot market. Big, yeah, the whole this. culture in Northern California is uh, it, it, everything has to do with Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Yeah. It's like it's really Bigfoot big up there. Bakery, yeah, Bigfoot cleaning. And now you know it's a and you know Northern California has a long history. You know, Bigfoot big, shoes, of Bigfoot, yeah. and people growing a lot of you know marijuana. So. The documentary is fire. You should everyone should watch it, man. It's really interesting, though. I like it. It's it's a good documentary. Let's but tell them what. Let's just be spoilers of what actually happened. What really happened is that was never a Bigfoot. That was just a pure lie. It was just the guys, the 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 what's it called? The people that were growing the marijuana didn't want to pay their workers. Their workers were from Mexico because they thought they were gonna steal from them, so they end up basically killing them and blaming ah, a Bigfoot. Sad. Look at that. People come from another country just to help motherfuckers and they do that. But you understand, shit. you understand people in dude, Northern California has the high has a really high rate of missing people. You know how many people have gone missing? No. You go to Northern California, little small towns, go to the post office, go to the stores. You'll see missing posters of people all over the towns. People go missing in Northern California. This is sometimes I don't know why. It's just the, there is a history of people yeah. going missing there. It's just there's so many people missing. I saw a report one time. There's this one lady looking for her daughter. Her daughter came from L.A. and went up to uh, to Northern California to like the work and like the cleaning of the marijuana. She's been missing for four years. That hasn't been seen. Oh, poor so man. there's a lot of weird things that happen in the forest up there. You understand people up there, they have the, they're their own. They're, they're their own law. They're right their there, own dude. law, man. There's, there's people there have been know, living yeah. for 30, 40 years that they live in the forest. Like they're. That's their spot. There's some spots that are not even cops go to. And especially remind me of that of that um, that you're saying the forest, and it's true because there it, there was a forest fire last year. Yeah. Remember, it was over here by uh, I think was it by Yosemite, wasn't it? There's one by Yosemite, but they were all over the state. Yeah, there was but a lot there was one California. where a guy started it to oh. cover up a crime. Yeah, he had killed he had his killed wife. Killed his wife, 
And uh, not only that, he not only got charged for that crime and uh, the starting of the wildfire, he got charged for 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 the for the also the killing of two. Uh, I think it was two two elderly people living yeah, over that died there in the fire. that died in the fire. And it's it, it's just crazy because it's true, guys. Like when you live in the forest, man, especially in those forest towns, it's the law is different. It's not like when you live in the city. It's uh, yeah, sometimes... there's a lot of people they've lived there their whole life, and you know what they do up there. You know they do what they do up there, man. That's why. A lot of people mm-hmm. go missing up there, I, man. Like, I think it was this one time. I think uh, I think you were telling me a story about one, one of your buddies. Remember, he was about to move to, I think, Grants Pass. Mm-hmm. And one of the guys, when he, he was there, he was like, hey, whatever you see, just keep it to yourself. Oh, He's yeah. like, and whatever you do, don't go down that road. Yeah, it's true. And it's- he said, like, there was, like, at one time, there was, like, five, like, ten black SUVs heading That's up. That's nothing. One of, uh, one of our buddies... He swears that, that he's seen, like, in this area. This is, like, a mountainous area on the border between California and Oregon. He's like, I swear that he's seen UN trucks up in this little area where no people go to. What, what the, the hell fuck is, the, is UN? the UN doing in Southern Oregon, Northern California? What the fuck? That's, he's like, yeah, I seen them. They're, like, white trucks with UN on them. It's, like, in this area of, like, I don't know how big it is, but it's a really area where a lot of people don't go. He's like, he's like, I swear, I've seen those white UN trucks. I've seen people there. They're like, they're like straight up. They, they, they're foreigners, like Russians or like Belgians or something like that. Yeah. And then Warren's just like, what the fuck is the UN doing in the wooded areas? And, like, and, and it's just crazy. Why are they, they, yeah. they know something that we don't know. Exactly. That's what, that's what makes that's you think part. about it. It's yeah. like, what the f- You'd be surprised. Like, there's like a lot of little towns, like in Southern Oregon, Northern California, that mm-hmm. like you'll go into a little town and it's like people have been living there for a long time and like there's this place it's have like you ever a, seen it's a culture have you ever man. seen a, a you've seen ghost adventures right yeah there's this one where they do uh they do a uh, a uh, ghost hunt near wolf uh a uh, uh, wolf wolf creek oregon that episode is weird it's like the people there there's like a church that's super haunted and they say there's people in the woods they practice magic they call themselves warlocks. What the fuck? Yeah, they've seen like a lot of foreign people, like a lot of out of town people go missing in like in like the in like southern Oregon. That's like, trippy as shit, right? It's there. a lot of like imagine living in a town where like people call themselves warlocks living. Like that's oh, freaky. Oh, man. That's uh I don't know about that shit, man. That's yeah. I'm not surprised though, man. I'm telling you, some people the shit. foreign thing cut out for everyone, I'll tell yeah. you that, man. Well, a lot of people, in the forest, man, it, when it comes to all those, all, some of those two, they're also more known to be more um, swingers. Really? Swingers, yeah. Wow. Up in the forest. And think about it, man. Sometimes those hippies, they're not my swingers, dude. Yeah. A lot of people don't know the people who live in the forest. A lot of them are also hippies, especially yeah, up in Yeah, they used to do that over thing in Northern California, reggae at the river. Reggae at the it river. It was like a whole four days of people like reggae and people smoking dildos, pot. And dildos coming out and fucking strap-ons. I, damn, I don't know about that, but... Bro. Yeah, I heard a lot of crazy stuff. I don't even know the thing. They, I don't think they even do it no more. Do they still do it no more? I don't know. Damn. We're going to have to do a special. Reggae at the river. Nah, they sh- oh, you're gonna fuck. have to. You're gonna have to buy the dildos. Though. No, fuck that. That's disgusting, dude. <laughs> that's disgusting. You know what's crazy? <laughs> what? He's not since you said that. <laughs> that reminds me back when when we lived in Hermiston. Yeah. Back at the at the Hermiston High School, there was like a teacher there. Yeah. And that person, like, got like one of my friends caught saw this teacher there buying dildos. Oh. At one of those that, that 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 what's it called that that sex toy shop store in Tri Cities, I, I, I don't want, I don't know what's don't called. Know. It was next to Applebee's. Was it Castle? Castle. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I barely remember. Yeah, that. and what's the weird thing about this teacher? Like after this incident happened, a year later, this person ended up getting divorced. Wow. Yeah, was my buddy told me those? that this guy was like this guy or girl was buying like like Hulk size. <laughs> Like the Hulk size so only, freaking only those sizes, not the like that ones. one. And he said he this person bought a couple masks, and I was like, I didn't believe him. I was like, nah, this guy's bullshit. But then I start read. I heard through the right grapevine that this teacher ended up getting divorced. Wow. Yeah. So I was like, maybe the story was true. Holy shit. This was a while ago, so it's not like recently. Yeah. Or is it recently? I don't Who know. Fucking knows, bro. <laughs> yeah, but they told me the story damn. about that. I was like, damn. From that teacher, I was bro. like, 
Teachers can was, be freaks, bro. Is that castle store still in the Tri Cities? I don't know. Yeah, Every I, time I always passed by there, I always wanted to eat there because I thought it was White Castle when I was little. Yeah. Every Ron time Jeremy I one it, time went there, man. That, he, that place there was a lot of people there. Did you go? Me, I went there once one time. It no, was no, when funny. Ron Jeremy was there. Fuck no, I ain't gonna make no line to. Dude, if Ron Jimmy would always kick it at the freaking uh, the In and Out right there on Sunset Boulevard. Really? Yeah. So I don't have to fucking pay money to go see that guy. That's true. True. Yeah, but oh, that isn't was... he in prison right now? Yeah, poor guy. They got him for tax evasion. Oh no, tax evasion and rape. Oh yeah. You know what's so crazy, man? Hmm. I feel like a a lot of these people that it, it just it just came to my mind like people who sell blow and stuff all like that mm-hmm. and they try to you know. If there's one, you know, if there's one agency I fear as a business owner because of my podcast is the IRS. No, you just got to pay your taxes. That's all you got to do. Just be right and don't just pay no, whatever exactly. money you got up. But you have to understand I mean, that the IRS are more dogs than the DEA and the FBI. Because if you think about it, the DEA, all, the, the cops couldn't get Al Capone. The only thing that got Al Capone was a fucking evasion. IRS. Yeah, tax evasion. That's crazy, it, man. No, but you just got to be smart and just make sure you oh, pay no, your Oh, no, of thumb. course. Of course. But this is for, like, people who don't. You know, I guarantee we have some listeners that are some, uh, they're, um, they're street pharmacists. Yeah, probably, yeah. Pay your taxes, guys. <laughs> Find true. a way to pay your taxes. Yeah. You, you don't want the IRS sniffing you know, up your, uh, you know, sniffing up your alley. You know, well, since I mentioned Hermeson, did you ever go to that one tavern called Midway? No. I went there one time. It was horrible. They should demolish that place. Why? Dude, it was I went in there, dude, and I was like, this place is kind of dirty, raunchy. Yeah, and I was Skanky. there playing pool with some of my buddies, and this lady kept on telling me that I looked like the lead singer of Simple Plan. I was like, who I the don't fuck even, is Simple? I don't Plan? even know who the fuck Simple Plan is. I was like, yeah, man. I was like, I do not like this place, and I never went there again. I was like, I'm not stepping a foot in this place. Damn. I feel like I need a tetanus shot after that going to that Oof. place, dude. I just didn't. I just know it's not, it's not right there, man. They should no, no, build it like you know more modernize it or some shit. Yeah, is it even still there? I'm be honest. Hey, no, if you're maybe. any if people from the Hermes thing, send us if it's still there, so Randy can go visit and check it out. No, thank you. Why no. not? You got yeah, you got to go at least once. True. You got to check it out at least once, man. Check it out at least. Once. I went there once and I was like, yeah, do not. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really. I just didn't want to go back there again, man. It got a little. I don't know. Kind of weird for you? No, not weird. It's just I didn't like the vibe to it, especially when these other ladies were saying that I kept looking like, and these ladies were like their fifties, and I was like, Gee. and I was like, yeah. I think they like you. Nah, they were nice. Um, they're nice, but they're, you know, I just didn't want. I, I didn't want to go back there. I guarantee you, they wanted uh, you know, you to yeah, give them I doubt, the. Yeah, I the would. Yeah, two-piece. no way. Not even with your dick. <laughs> Thank you. That's so yeah, thoughtful of you, bro. Save you some some time, you know. Are they still going to do the county fair there? I don't know. This year? I don't know. Um, well, I hear they're getting ready to lock it down again. Are you serious? That's what I'm from. Uh, that's what some of my sources are telling me. They Dude, I used to love the again. county fair in, in Hermiston, man. I always loved seeing the fights there. The fights were hilarious, man. One time I saw these carnies beat up another carny. Because oh. he was giving them these other girls like free games. <laughs> they beat the shit out of them. Oh. oh, man. I felt bad. Some little, like Some cowboy guy was trying to break it like... Like a hit guy was trying to break it up, and he's like, and then one guy goes like, "No, stop! This is carny problems." <laughs> <laughs> he said that. He started laughing. I was like, "Oh shit! These guys, these guys are the fucking mob. They got their own fucking yeah. culture." He's like, Dude, he's like, "No, stop! This is carny problems." I was like, "Whoa!" I hey, was like, bro, "Damn, that's, man!" That's... As a little kid, oh, dude, some of my best memories are going to the fair. Oh, man. Well, good I missed the fair, man. man. I, I want to go this year. Hopefully, we'll see. No, what, I don't. What, what, think, I don't think they're gonna have it this year. They canceled it last year. They're mostly gonna cancel it this year again. Well, let's hope they don't. Who yeah. knows though? But it don't matter. This should just make it later. Fuck it. Just fucking make it for a later date in the year. Like October, huh? October. They do some. They have some cool acts sometimes. One time they brought Ted Nugent there, even though mm-hmm. I think that guy's a fucking dirtbag. But I thought it was interesting seeing him. They should bring uh, Billy Bob Thornton. I think he'll be good. Honestly, the fights are funny, man. Oh my gosh, the best fights are always at the county fair. Why is that? They're man? hilarious, man. It's so funny, man. It's, I don't know, there's something, when you're in a small town, when that county fair goes around, like, everybody has the vibe, but everybody has to go there for at least one or one or twice to check it out. That's true. And they always see someone either gets either gets you know, punched in the face. But, true. But you know what's funny? Mm. If you look at how it is up there and you come down here, 
and yeah, do the Tetravite and you and you do the 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 fa- the fair here, very different, um, very fucking different. Because over there, over there, it, it it's like a mixture of Mexicans and and whites. Yeah, it's but like here's more head. though. Here there's more where at the fair they're bringing all these fucking the Fresno County fair. All these, the Fresno uh, one is that like a lot of famous people pitbull went. All these on. Mexican groups, all these fucking. I think yeah. uh, actually the, the one, year before that. Oh, they had you brought, know one. Um, you know the one here, uh, freaking, uh, freaking sound met Billy Bob Thornton. No way. Yeah, he had his own band here playing at the at the at this <laughs> oh, uh, county fair at the Tulare <laughs> County. Yeah, yeah, Sal met him. He said he was really nice. See, Billy Bob Thornton, man. There, bro. He had a funny. He has a. He had his own little band. Oh, yeah. He he kept singing a song about a chili dog. I don't you, even. Yeah. You, you know who else mm. uh, who has come to the fair too? I mm. think it was uh, Fluffy. Fluffy came to the to the county fair. Really? Yeah. If uh, I'm to be not honestly, mistaken, I've only been one. The whole time you've been living here, I've only been one time to the fair. I just never really went to I've it. I've never then. gone. Yeah, I don't know. For me, I've been wanted to go, but it just I just think just, we take we just take them really for the kids. And I like you know, I, I just I don't really like going to the fair there. Just I'm gonna be honest. When it comes to here in Central Valley, uh, one thing that you do see a lot, you see a lot of gang members going most of the time. Yeah, the ones you see getting them like where we're from, it was mostly people just getting into fight with people they didn't like. Over here, it is the majority of the time it's gang on gang violence. Yeah, you those careful, are the ones who really fight. Yeah, no, well, yeah, bring it's out California, knives you know? and stuff like that. That's the thing, yeah, you know. And it's just crazy, and, and, and it brings my point. Just like the difference how we, how when we were raised up there to here, it's you know fuck. what's funny at the county fair and over there in the in the Umatilla one, how when you're when I was a little kid, I remember seeing all our uncles throwing the quarters and nickels at the cups. Yeah. Why would they be obsessed with this <laughs> that cup know. game? I swear. One time I went, I was literally going around the fair for like four hours, and I saw all our same uncles in the same location throwing rocks. I mean, throwing nickels and dimes at the thing, knowing that they could buy that cup at Walmart for thirty cents. There's something about always winning it. There's they something would, about winning they it. They would literally just... spend hours throwing there to get free cups, knowing that they probably spent thirty dollars to buy five cups, and knowing they could buy it at Walmart for like two dollars. There's something about though that game of throwing nickels and dimes at a cup during the fair that just attracts all Mexicans. It's like something in there. It's like it's interesting. Like people have to they go to that location. Dude, there's something about I'm telling you. It's just I think it's just probably something that also when you get older that that it just attracts you. Yeah, I just I always thought it was funny because I know when I run out of money, I try to find one of them to give me let me borrow five dollars. <laughs> so I was like, if I run out of money, I know where to hit them up. You just go you you go to that stand, boom, there. Yeah, there. exactly. There because they never left. And by the time they left, they were drunk. <laughs> so, yeah. Usually when... Hey, uh, I, I saw when, a YouTube video how all those games are fucking ripoffs, man. You sh- when the Mexican uncles are drunk, that's when it's the best time to ask them for money. Cause, yeah, uh, it was there. Because sometimes they don't even... You don't even have to ask. They just give you 10, 20 bucks already. I remember as a little kid, I saw a lot of drunk women as a little... Even though when I was like in, even like in uh, middle school. Yeah. I saw this one lady, man. She was like throwing up by where all the pigs, I mean, where all the uh, cows were and like her booze were coming out. I was like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> then I kind of made a run for it when I saw her husband showing up. I was like, oh, I'm out of okay, here. Okay, I'm out. All right, good. Ah, good times. Thank you guys for enjoying this episode. Remember, uh, follow the, the, go like and subscribe on uh, Randy's Ranch YouTube page. Randy's Ranch. Also, uh, the Instagram, Randy's Ranch Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow Triple Twenty. One of the sponsors also go follow the Chinese. Yeah, you know what? Next time right we don't now, have any but, time. Um, we're running out of time though. We already got some questions into the Randy Rants email, so we're gonna answer a couple next time, man. Because uh, there's some people that need help on those on those. Definitely. I've read a few, and they need some advice. Some do. So let's start really helping them out, man. Definitely. Let's hop up in them. But as always, guys, greatness one at a time. Let's get that hustle and don't stop working. Keep going. Let's uh, do it. All love day. you guys. Peace out. Greatness one at a time.